All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick review on how I made these um, collages, photo collages, and all I did is I'm using walmart.com, but you can use any photo company, I'm sure, and I'm just gonna go over here to photos, and then we're gonna go down to prints right there. So photos, prints, okay, and then we're gonna be looking for collages, which is right there, collage prints, click on that. Then right here it gives you three different options, and you can do 4x6, you can do 5x7, um, 8x10. I usually do 4x6, but you can pick whatever one. And then portrait or landscape is um, step two, and it does allow you to um, add a title if you'd like as well. And you can see that sample over here on this left side on the photo that they're showing you. Um, I'm going to not do a title this time. Click on continue. And then what it's going to do is going to pull up your albums. And I guess I should have mentioned this. If you have not uploaded your pictures that you want to make a collage with, I would do that first. And then um, go ahead and do the collage step. So I'm going to go ahead and click from the photos that I have. And these are actually um, the back to school pictures that I scrapbooked. And we're just going to click on some and add them to over here on the file on the right side. Now you can check click on a couple different portraits, give it a good variety, maybe some horizontal, vertical, that type of deal. And you can click on five, six, seven, how many you want. It just gives you a good opportunity to add a lot of those different um, photos that we might just clicked away just to get the moment right. And sometimes they all turn out cute and you don't know how to choose from them. So this allows you to use them all. Now, right underneath the photo is Shuffle Photos, right here, and you can just click on this until you find a collage that you like. Once you find one that you like, now you can go ahead and add to cart. If you want to change your photos or change your side, add a title, um, you can still do it from that. You can do the thick border if you want. I usually just keep it to thin, but you, there are a lot of different changes you can make with that. So let's go ahead and add that to the cart. You can view it again, which we already have a good view of it, so I'm okay with it. And then right here in the cart, you can view it, as you can see here. And that's how you add a collage. It's really simple, easy, and like I said, a great way to add a couple more pictures to your page without um, much effort on your part. Now, um, I believe through walmart.com, it's nine cents if you, um, have it mailed to you if you want to do the one hour and pick it up in the store you can as well and that I believe is 19 cents so it's not too bad um, not too pricey and it's a great way like I said to add those photos to your pages